don't let them hold you back. I mm-hmm. have friends that could hold me back even today, but I don't let them. Mm-hmm. I have friends where if I hung around with them every day, I would not be in the position that I am in. Um, I've certainly had women in, in, in relationships where if I did whatever she wanted, I would not be where I am today. Mm-hmm. You know, even, even, even little things. Sometimes you wake up at 7 a.m., you want to be in the gym by 8. She starts, you know, reaching down your pants and stuff. It's just like, you know, sometimes just get up, say no, hit the gym, have your shower, tell her you'll see her tonight and get to work. Mm-hmm. As opposed to, you know, okay, all right, fine. One more round, then it's 8 o'clock, then a little nap, then it's 10. Then it's, oh, do you want breakfast? Oh, yeah, I'd love it if you make me breakfast. Then it's 11. Nothing productive has happened. Exactly. You have to be the man in your relationship. And if you're the man, you do what needs to be done, not necessarily what you want to do. Mm-hmm. So... I'm not saying you have to break up with your girlfriend. I'm saying you have to change the dynamic. She's not the boss of you. Even when things are pleasurable and nice. Because believe me, if I could be at the, in the exact, exact same physical condition, in the exact same financial condition, and all I had to do around was, all I had to do was lay around on my couch with beautiful women watching Netflix and getting blowjobs. Believe me, I'd do that. <laughs> but you can't. No. That isn't an option. So, you know, don't let your girlfriend make you feel too comfortable. And just don't fall into the trap of of enjoying it too much and enjoying the pleasure too much. Make room in your life for the discomfort. Make life hard for yourself because no one else is going to do it. <clears throat> no one else. I'm certainly not going to come into your room at 7.30 and kick your door down and say, I don't know what your name is. Steven from Los Angeles. It's time to get your life in order. Let's get up. Let's hit the gym. You're not going to, that's not, I don't care about you. No one cares about you that much. You should care about yourself that much. Mm-hmm. And in which case, you can't let women make you feel too comfortable. Because it's women's, it's not something to do on purpose to stop us. But I feel like it's a woman's natural instinct to want as much of your energy as possible. Yeah. And she's happiest when she gets the most energy from you as possible. A woman wants nothing more than you to be at home with her all day long, talking to her all day long, watching movies with her all day long, and have sex with her five times a day. That's a woman's dream. And you know what? By all means, do that once you have $100 million. <laughs> but yeah. don't, don't do it now. What would you say are the top five things which a man could do to make himself more attractive to women? Uh, I think number one, number one has to be get in shape. Mm-hmm. It has to be get in shape. I mean, obviously, you take getting in shape more seriously than almost anyone I know. But even myself, like I don't, like I had, I was out of shape at the beginning of this year because I had some problems with my my arm that I was fixing and I couldn't train. I, I just looked at myself in the mirror, even though I wasn't in horrible shape, just thinking, Jesus Christ, this is this is abysmal. <laughs> so it's a, and I think that the standard I set on my, the standard you set on yourself is what's attractive. Yes, the great body and the the, the, the physical shape comes with it. But I feel like women are attracted to that in general. I mean, there are athletes, there are boxers um, who, you know, they're a bit fat, MMA fighters. You know, a lot of them, look at some of the heavyweights, they're not in the best shape in terms of bodybuilding uh, aesthetically. But the fact that they're up every day learning how to fight, you know, working, training in the gym, it does something to your mind as well as your body Mm -hmm. that women find attractive. So that has to be number one. Uh, More attractive to women, learn how to talk learn how to be funny, learn how to deal with women. You know, some people just have no idea how to speak to women and how to and and how to be around women. Understand that, I don't know how many this is, understand that male psychology and female psychology are very, very different. You know, some people with no experience with women, they will think that women think like men, which is one of the biggest mistakes that I think people make in general. You know, young guys are like, literally, they'll send pictures of their dicks or naked pictures to the girls they like. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. You'd like it if she sent you a naked picture. And even if you're flirting and she seems interested in you, maybe she is interested in you. Don't send her a picture of your dick. Like that's that's negating, that's correlating male and female psychology in a bad way. That's just a, a, an example. Um, I don't know. I, don't I think know. for me, what I've experienced is obviously being in shape can help. That's super But that's, that's not going to get you it's all not, the way. I, I know guys who are out of shape who get loads of beautiful women. Yeah. I think what has helped for me is, like you said before, just being able to have a conversation, be interesting, Confidence. share stories, ask them questions, be funny. Yeah, women being, love to talk about themselves. Being, being funny is 
underrated as well. You don't have to like try too hard, but you know, have a little bit of a sense of humor, make them laugh. If you can make them laugh, then you can make them do anything. Yeah, yeah they're <laughs> yours. Yeah, that's right. So I don't know. We 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 both learned a lot for sure from our experiences. Yeah. And if you're bad with women, date more women. Mm -hmm. Find women who will date you and date them. Like with anything, kickboxing, martial arts, business, uh, physical training, you will get better the more you do it. So if you're 18, 19 and you're shit with women, ask an ugly woman out. Mm -hmm. Cool, stop trying to aim for the hot ones because the hot 18-year-old girls will, will date people like me. They're not interested in you. Find an ugly chick, date her, and maybe you'll fall in love, maybe you won't, but it doesn't matter. As you go through relationships and experiences with women, you'll learn more about women. For, for people who are quite shy, are more introverted, do you have any advice for them when it comes to networking and getting themselves out there? The same advice I have for procrastinators, because I was shy once. When I was 17, 18, I was shy. Um, it wasn't so much with business networking because I didn't know anybody important, but I was shy to go up and talk to girls and stuff. And without the internet and without dating apps and all the little cheat codes that shy people use and men use now, their crutches that people lean on, I just understood I'm not going to ever get laid if I don't go up and talk to that girl. Mm. So the advice I have for people who are too shy to put yourselves out there, too shy to approach women, too shy to you know, try to you know, pitch a business deal to somebody important then good, have fun staying poor and lonely. You know, because it's when you're, especially when you're young, it's not easy. And it does take some balls, but just go go and do it anyway. You know, the worst that people can do is say no. That was something in my mind, actually. People used to tell me that. Go talk to the girl. The worst she could do is say no. And that was it. Sometimes they'd say no. And that's the way it is. And it, the, the what if will kill you afterwards. The what if will be kill thinking, you. The what if will absolutely pussy it out. So yeah, and if and if you never are, are going to learn those skills and you're never going to take a shot in the dark, then good. Have fun staying poor and have fun staying lonely and have fun with your Pornhub subscription. <laughs> but uh, but um, and also and also, don't be retarded. Like some people think I'll say this, and some people are so retarded they'll come up to me with like papers and be like, "Yep, yeah, you said people didn't take the initiative. Here's my business proposal." But I'm like, just leave me alone. That's not what I mean. I mean like, just yeah, just just if you don't have confidence, fake confidence. Confidence is the one thing you can fake, and it and people believe you have it. If you if you oh I'm shy, I'm shy. Go talk to the girl. Okay. If you actually walk up and talk to her, then you're not shy. You've spoken your confidence into existence. So yeah, and most a lot of people won't ever do that, and and I have no no help for them. I've you know what could I possibly tell them that's going to fix them? Nothing. But you're going to be lonely, and you're going to be broke if you if you stay that way. You have to almost look in the mirror and just tell yourself that you are the man. Yeah. You, you you have to believe you are the person that you want to be. Absolutely. And just by thinking that, then you feel as though whatever situation you're in, you that you're yeah. supposed to be in this situation. The person I want to be wakes up at seven and he trains for two hours. The person I want to be wouldn't let that pretty girl walk past him without introducing himself and saying hello. The person I want... So, okay, good. So you're going to wake up and lay in bed and then not talk to the pretty girl. Then you'll, you'll never be the person you want to be. Mm -hmm. Simple.